As Filipinos, body care is something na common na common na sa culture natin. Ang hilig nating bumili ng mga body soaps, body lotions, deodorants, and gustong gusto talaga nating scrub yung katawan natin, di ba? But is this really the right way to do body care? Let's find out! Hi everyone, and mag-uusap na naman tayo about skincare, skincare, and skincare, specifically the skin of your body and how to do it right. So I will be sharing with you guys some tips in this video na shinare and nirecommend na rin sa akin ng mga dermatologists that I've consulted with before, and even those na mga na-interview ko na outside of the clinic. So if meron kayong mga body creams, body lotions, deodorants, or other body care products, check nyo muna kung ginagamit nyo ba sila correctly with these tips na based from the professionals themselves. Also, this video is brought to you by Hello Glow. More on this later, but also, kahit anong brand pa ng body care ang gamitin nyo, pwede pa rin i-apply yung mga tips and hacks na to to your body care routine. So that being said, wala nang any-any, let's begin. Tip number one is a deodorant hack. And this is if gumagamit ka ng deodorant, specifically para sa pawis or yung mga products na tinatawag din nating antiperspirants. And lalo na kung sa umaga nyo ginagamit gamit yung mga products na to, listen up because actually, ang advice ng mga dermatologists is baliktad. Better daw siya when you use them at night. Now, this one actually, nalearn ko siya not from my personal dermatologist but from Dr. Andrea Suarez or Dr. Dre, who as you guys know is a board-certified dermatologist here sa YouTube. Now, she does mention in a lot of her videos about deodorants and antiperspirants na mas okay talaga gamitin yung mga antiperspirants after mo maligo sa gabi. The reason being, habang natutulog ka kasi, this gives enough time para ma-absorb ng underarm skin mo yung product. Para pagising mo during the daytime, fully absorbed na siya and na-block niya na yung sweat glands mo, ready to work na siya and kahit maligo ka pa sa umaga, hindi na siya matatanggal because fully absorbed na nga siya. According to Dr. Dre, kasi mas okay din talaga ang absorption ng mga antiperspirant products kapag ina-apply natin sila sa skin natin ng hindi pa sila naiinitan or napapawisan which is usually sa gabi yun. Kasi sa umaga, pag medyo mainit na and kalalagay mo pa lang, let's say, ng antiperspirant pwedeng maghalo yung antiperspirant sa pawis mo and in effect, pwedeng hindi siya mag-absorb as well sa skin mo. And true enough, in my experience, nung ginawa ko to sa routine ko and I've been doing this since 2020, so almost 4 years ko na siya ginagawa, parang mas naging long-lasting pa nga yung effect nung antiperspirant sa underarms ko. As in, kahit pawisan talaga ako ng buong araw up until bumalik ako sa bahay, fresh na fresh talaga, walang amoy. So I'm currently doing this with the antiperspirant product of Hello Glow. This is their new rejuvenation Rejuvenating Quelch Serum Dio Cream. And what I like about this is pea size lang yung kailangan mo and it gives you up to 48 hours of protection. This also does have niacinamide and tranexamic acid. It can also help na ma-brighten yung underarms ninyo while taking care of your skin barrier. Now moving on to our second tip, ito naman is a sugat and peklat hack. So this is for those na nagkaka-minor lang na sugat or scratch from time to time and gusto nyong ma-prevent yung scarring or yung pagpeklat niya. Ito naman is something na tinuro sa akin ng personal dermatologist ko. So usually kapag nasusugatan tayo ng maliit yung mga scratches lang, ang iniisip natin agad is, ah, okay, lagyan natin ng betadine or spray natin ng alcohol. But actually, ang sinabi ng derm ko sa akin na best first aid response is simply, hugasan mo lang muna with plain soap and water. So as my dermatologist explained, this will be enough para matanggal lahat ng germs doon sa sugat mo. But of course, provided na hinugasan and sinabon mo talaga siya ng mabuti. But actually guys, yung next step nito is the one na medyo nagulat talaga ako. Na alam niyo yung usually nire-recommend ng mga tao na sebo de macho or yung mga oils na nilalagay daw sa mga peklat or sa mga scars? Well, apparently, nanggaling pala yun sa first aid response sa mga minor scratches na after mo kasing masugatan, dapat minamoisturize mo agad yung sugat mo to promote yung pag-heal ng wound mo. Na again, ang explanation ng dermatologist ko rito is, ang skin kasi natin para mag-function siya ng mabuti, para magawa niya yung mga basic na ginagawa niya, including healing our wound, it needs to have a layer of moisture. And usually, napoproduce ng skin natin yung moisture na to. But of course, it's also good na tinutulungan natin sila, especially during times na nasusugatan tayo. So the way we can help it is by applying moisturizing products on our skin, gaya ng mga sebo de macho. So that will help the skin repair itself properly. And kapag nag-repair siya ng mabuti, bababa yung chance na magka-peklat ka. Now, according to my derm, yung sebo de macho is actually an okay option para sa sugat. Pero hindi siya as effective 
effective sa pag-form ng protective layer sa skin natin compared to other moisturizing ingredients. And a better option, and baka yung best option pa nga, is actually an ingredient called petrolatum, or more commonly known as petroleum jelly. Ang petrolatum kasi, it's known to prevent moisture and water loss sa skin natin by up to 98%. Compare mo to sa sebo de macho na mga 50% lang, or even yung mga oils na, depende pa nga sa oil, it could be anywhere from 30 to 60% lang yung protection sa skin mo. So specifically to prevent yung moisture loss sa body natin, it's really best to use yung mga balms na meron yung ingredient na petrolatum or petroleum jelly. Now you guys can use plain petroleum jelly, marami namang available sa drugstore na ganun. Or if you do want added benefits, I also do like to use these two, itong Hello Glow Papaw Balm and the Everbelena Plus Ever Balm. Now both of these are petrolatum based which means okay na okay sila to promote minor wound healing and preventing scars. Both of these have marula oil and vitamin E to nourish the skin. Si Papaw Balm has papaya extract to promote skin renewal, while si Ever Balm naman has tea tree oil, which has some antibacterial properties. So it's really up to you kung gusto magamitin yung plain or yung may mga added benefits, but just remember the ingredient petrolatum, as in one of the best skincare ingredients, one of the ingredients na favorite na mga dermatologists, and also personally, one of my favorite skincare ingredients sa body. And speaking of protecting our skin, ang next naman natin na tip is a body aging hack. And this is for those na gustong mag-age gracefully. Hindi naman natin may iwasan ang pagtanda but there's of course a way na i-minimize yung mga signs nito especially sa body natin. Hindi naman to goal ng lahat but if isa siya sa mga goals ninyo, then this next tip is for you. And this is to always remember using sunscreen not just sa face but also on the other exposed parts of your body including your neck, your arms, and kung nagsashorts ka, your legs. Na dami nating masipag mag-sunscreen sa face pero ang kwento sa akin ng dermatologist ko is the new way para malaman mo yung age ng tao is hindi sa mukha kung hindi sa neck wrinkles and yung wrinkles sa likod ng kamay ng mga tao. Ito kasi yung mga parts na aside from our face pinaka-exposed talaga sila sa araw and usually nakalimutan natin lagyan sila ng sun protection minsan tinatamad tayo so prone na prone talaga siya to fine lines and wrinkles compared sa ibang mga parts ng katawan natin na nakakover naman ng dami. So as a tip, make sure to always apply SPF 30 broad spectrum as your sun protection during the daytime kung may expose ka sa araw, lalong-lalo na kung lalabas ka. For me, fresh lang yung feeling nitong Hello Glow 3-in-1 Sun Care Gel on my body and this has SPF 50+, plus, PA4+, plus, and also has a lightweight gel texture so after a few hours, mafe-feel mo sobrang absorb na absorb na siya na parang wala ka nang nilagay sa skin mo. And since nasa sachet siya, it's very easy to bring on the go. But also guys, do remember na just because meron kang sunscreen, it doesn't mean na pwede ka nang magbilad sa araw all day, every day. Remember, sun avoidance is still key. So kapag kaya, kapag kaya lang naman, stay away sa direct na sunlight. Huwag kang magbababad talaga sa araw. Stay doon sa mga places na meron kang konting shade or yung may lilim. Or use umbrellas, wear hats, and other protective clothing. Especially for those na tinatry na ipantay yung skin tone nila. Kunyari, meron kayong mga dark areas on your body. Kasi kahit anong ilagay nyo dyan ng mga creams or serums, kung araw-araw din kayo nagbababad under the sun, then magdadarken lang din talaga siya ulit. But of course, pwede mo siyang ilesen with the right sun protection. And actually, related din dyan yung next step natin which is a skin lightening hack. Now take note, skin lightening ito or skin brightening pero hindi siya whitening. Now sa mga medyo confused sa terms, basically yung difference ng whitening doon sa brightening and lightening is yung brightening and lightening, binabalik mo lang yung skin mo sa original tone and color ng balat mo or pinapantay mo lang yung skin tone mo. Meanwhile, yung whitening naman is ginagawa mo talagang white yung skin tone mo na kahit na hindi yun yung natural skin tone or skin color mo. But anyway, when it comes to skin brightening or lightening, usually ang hilig talaga gawin ng mga Pilipino is mag-scrub and mag-scrub whether salt scrub, sugar scrub, yung mga lufa, lahat na. But actually, and marami ng mga dermatologists ang nagsasabi nito around social media, scrubbing can actually make your skin even darker or even discolored. Lalong-lalo na kung moreno or morena ka. Kasi yung mga physical scrubs, they can be very irritating sa skin natin. Yung pagkuskus talaga natin minsan na parang todong-todo pa, that can cause a lot of irritation. And hulaan nyo kung ano isa sa mga main causes ng pag-darken ng skin natin. Yes, it's irritation. Now, good example of this is, di ba yung sa underarms natin? Kapag nangate or na-irritate siya, let's say, kunyari, gumamit ka ng Dio na 
hindi kahiyang, di ba, after umiitim siya. Now, that is also the same sa ibang mga parts ng skin ng katawan natin. So, instead of using yung mga scrubs para ma-exfoliate or ma-lighten yung skin mo, instead, look for body lotions with chemical exfoliating ingredients. Para ang gagawin mo na lang, i-a-apply mo na lang siya, hindi mo na kailangan kuskusin sa skin mo, iiwan mo na lang siya, and it'll do its job on its own. Now, some of the best and most accessible na exfoliating ingredients for the body are yung tinatawag nating alpha-hydroxy acids, also called AHAs. Ito yung mga glycolic acid, lactic acid, mandelic acid, and even citric acid sometimes. Now, aside from exfoliating sila, hydrating din sila for the body, so it can help keep your skin healthy, and it can also help maintain hydration sa skin mo. So, for those na merong mga exfoliating serums na ginagamit nila sa face nila, you could also technically use that sa body mo, but of course, be careful dun sa percentage, make sure na hindi masyadong mataas, and make sure to use it only on the parts of your body na hindi sensitive, meaning huwag sa kilikili. However, another way to do it is, pwede ka rin bumili ng dedicated body lotion na merong AHA. Now, this one I'm using is from Hello Glow. This is their triple vitamin AHA lotion, and this does have a small amount of lactic acid to hydrate, and it also does have niacinamide to help brighten the skin and help strengthen the skin barrier. I personally like to use this at night, especially if tatapat ako sa electric fan or sa aircon so that my skin doesn't dry out too much. And dito din actually related yung next tip natin, which is a body lotion hack. Now, this is something na tinuro sa akin ni Dr. Gail Robredo Vitas way back in 2021 and nakita ko rin to sa channel ni Dr. Dre and very, very simple tip lang to when it comes to using body lotions. Na kung gagamit kayo ng body lotion, the best way to use it is kapag medyo basa-basa pa or bagong punas pa yung katawan mo after mo mag-shower. In other words, damp. The reason being, after kasi nating mag-shower, of course, merong water na natitira sa katawan natin and obviously, na-hydrate yung skin natin dito. But, yung hydration na to, temporary lang siya and pwede siyang mag-evaporate especially since mainit yung katawan natin and mainit din yung paligid natin. So, if you want na mag-last yung hydration na yon for an entire day, ang kailangan natin gawin is, is seal in agad yung hydration na to habang nandyan pa siya. And the best way to do this is with a lotion na merong mga hydration seeding ingredients para long-lasting yung moisture ng skin mo. So if you do want soft and smooth skin all day, not to mention mabango pa depending on the lotion na gagamitin mo, do consider using your body lotion this way, whether sa umaga or sa gabi. Now again, ako personally, I do like to apply my body lotion sa gabi and if you do want to see how I do my own body care routine, I will share it sa end ng video na to. But just a reminder na kung meron kayong any ng mga products na nagustuhan sa video na to, I will link them all in the description box to the legit shops para hindi na kayo mahirap ang hanapin sila. And I hope in one way or another nakatulong to sa body care journey ninyo. Do let me know sa comments kung ano ba yung mga current routines niya sa body. And if you do want to see my own body routine as promised, here it is along with another body care video that you might find useful for you. And as usual guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!